uh, this is a, a small uh, demo on uh, how to uh, make an uh, inverter schematic in uh, Tanner tool and do a sim uh, DC simulation. So a uh, first and foremost thing which I'm going to uh, do is I'm going to uh, create a uh, folder. So let me uh, call it as Sanjay, uh, my name, right? And uh, inside that, uh, I'm going to make uh, another uh, folder. Okay, I am calling it as uh, inverter. So, uh, uh, so uh, within that, uh, uh, Sanjay is, is my uh, my working directory. Uh, this is going to be my uh, no a library. Okay. Uh, so uh, within that library, I can have several uh, no, uh, cells. Okay. So uh, inverter is just uh, no, my uh, personal workspace. That's it. Okay. Now uh, I open uh, Tanner. So uh, S edit. right uh, i go to uh, help right this you need to do it uh, in the uh, when the first time you are logging in into the system and uh, later on those files will be available okay when i do uh, help and then uh, set up examples and tutorials okay i do a setup uh, it would what it would do is uh, it will uh, create uh, all these uh, libraries which are required for our simulation uh, in 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 this path okay uh, in this particular case it is going to be in c users and uh, do, in the documents okay so uh, i am uh, pressing in uh, in go, go, going ahead with the installation so right what i did was uh, so you saw that uh, help uh, I'll, I'll show it once again uh, Right. Uh, what I did was uh, I went to help and uh, set up examples and a tutorial. Right. So uh, 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 so it would uh, uh, ask something like this. So uh, 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 tick setup and then uh, click it again. So it will ask you this, this is the path. Okay. So you press install. Since I have already done it once, I am not uh, doing it again here. Yeah? So what it has uh, done is. Uh, after doing that, uh, if you uh, uh, go there in the documents, uh, I'll find this. Uh, if if the installation is uh, no, uh, successful, then I'll find this folder will be visible here. Okay. Uh, uh, initially, uh, if this has not been installed, uh, then uh, this won't be visible here. Uh, inside inside Tanner uh, EDA, you will have Tanner tools. Inside that, you will have this pro many folders out here. Inside process, you will have generic 250 nanometer and things like that. Standard library. So all these libraries are now made available. Okay. Now I go to an uh, uh, S edit. Okay, let me uh, close the previous sessions. Okay, uh, no. Now I go to uh, S edit, no, file. Okay, a new library. Okay, so I'm going to uh, browse uh, to the desktop. Uh, this was my workspace, and here I created a uh, library in which I'm going to place my different cells. So, okay, okay. Now this library no, has been uh, created. Now I need to uh, add some technology files to it. Uh, so I uh, right click it, add library. I go here. So uh, again, uh, I go to this PC documents, right? Tanner EDA, Tanner tools, uh, process, generic 250 nanometer devices, and in uh, generic 250 uh, devices is there right analog library but uh, to start with i uh, go with devices so all these devices are available here right okay nmos uh, uh, 25 25x all these things you could see here so okay okay i press okay here so that file that li technology files have been now uh, attached with this inverter library which i have created uh, add library i go here right i go uh, one level up uh, uh, and then uh, I have right I have standard libraries also right where did I get the standard libraries from again my PC uh, documents Tanner EDA Tanner tools okay uh, process 
standard libraries spice sources okay so the in the spice sources you will have that vdc isa and everything is so i'm clicking on that spice sources okay so spice sources now apart from that i require ground and things like that right so i do add library again i do uh, browse okay uh, i go uh, one level high standard libraries in the standard libraries i have this miscellaneous also okay i need to uh, no uh, 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 yeah in, in the miscellaneous you will find ground and things are available okay so i press okay okay now all these libraries have been uh, attached now i go to uh, 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 cell okay a new view okay now uh, so it will call now this is a schematic now i am going to make a schematic within that inverter library okay in the live in the inverter library i have made available all the libraries technological libraries uh, cell view uh, first i am going to make a simple inverter okay within this library i can make uh, uh, several uh, cell views also so i call it as a uh, simple uh, inverter okay simple inverter okay or and I could have called it CMOS inverter, whichever. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, what I have got. Now uh, I have to uh, take an instance. So I press I, and in the library I go to a generic uh, 250 nanometer. Now uh, here uh, I am going to select uh, NMOS 25X. Okay. Uh, NMOS uh, 25 uh, uh, is is without a uh, uh, body connection. Okay. Uh, it will connect a uh, global uh, uh, ground it will connect so we take uh, uh, nmos 25x okay so uh, i can uh, uh, go to uh, i have selected this uh, view uh, zoom uh, zoom to selection so i see this okay so the uh, the parameters of this thing is uh, given uh, here also right so uh, uh, if you are not uh, getting this okay you can uh, go to uh, view and uh, select this properties okay now suppose if it is not selected then when i'm uh, selecting this device these properties won't be shown in the uh, right hand side panel uh, so uh, view uh, i have to enable this properties then i can see so you see the length and width everything is available here if required i can uh, change the length and the width that all okay so uh, let me now take an uh, pmos so i press uh, i again uh, and i go to uh, nmos uh, 2.5 x uh, pmos okay now i'm going to uh, place it over here right so now i have placed the uh, pmos also now i want to change the properties of uh, pmos say this is uh, uh, both length is 150 150 uh, 250 nanometer uh, length uh, width out here is 1.5 micro i would want to make it 3 micro here uh, so pmos so uh, easiest uh, one one option is to just make the uh, number of fingers as uh, 2 so this has become a uh, 3 micro now now I take wires, do some interconnections. So, so this is the thing for wire. So I uh, make a connection out here. Uh, I make a connection of the gates, right? I take a connection out here for my for connecting an uh, VDD, right? And I connect uh, this also. I'll connect it to VDD, and uh, from uh, here. Again, uh, I take a uh, wire out here. I uh, bring it out here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me uh, leave it here because I'll uh, put a source there. And uh, yeah, I'll do this. Right. So some connections I have made. Uh, now I require a VDC. So I am pressing I and uh, from instead of generic this time i go to spice sources and then from the drop down menu i can uh, pick a uh, vdc so this they are alphabetic in nature so i won't find it's easy to pick them up so uh, first let me uh, put this device out here one device right and then i can do uh, control c and uh, control v also Yeah, so this is the, all right, so I put one device there. Let me uh, do the connections out here. 
So uh, since I'm using uh, uh, 250 nanometer technology, let me make this as three volts. Similarly, I click this, I make it as three. Okay, and, and this connection is left open out here. So I take a wire from here to here. I think that is that. Now, now, now I need to uh, connect ground also. So uh, let me uh, press I, and then uh, now ground I would get from the miscellaneous folder. Okay. So I pick up a ground. I uh, place it here. Okay. So this is uh, drawing of the uh, thing is complete. Uh, yeah, minus the uh, ports. Okay. So I put an uh, input port here. Right, uh, so uh, I am going to. Uh, if I want to change the name, I can change it, but uh, let me keep it as in. And I can take an output port and I'm going to uh, put here as out. Right, so I have given uh, ports also. Uh, and then I need to do the uh, simulation. So I go to uh, setup and, and uh, let me save everything. And then I go to uh, setup. Uh, spy simulation okay uh, now uh, here uh, first thing is in the general uh, here uh, show waveforms uh, i will uh, select it as after uh, enable uh, waveform probing as true and current probing as true okay uh, this is first thing is right show waveforms after simulation okay and now here you also need to uh, give the uh, simulation file okay so for, for it to run the simulation so this library file Okay, this library file is uh, different. Okay, not the one. Uh, so you go to Tanner EDA documents, Tanner EDA, right? Tanner tools, okay? Process, not uh, uh, generic uh, 250. Uh, then we went for uh, devices, right? But uh, here uh, this is different. This is the simulation setup. So I need to go to uh, models, okay? And then in models I have generic 250 nanometer. Okay, the top one, okay, which is what you can see, these are all uh, from my previous simulation results, not these one, uh, this one, generic 250, uh, 50 KB, you know, so that one, I pick up that, right, and in the end, I need to write an uh, TT out here, okay, uh, TT stands for typical, typical, okay, we're not going for uh, slow, uh, slow, slow devices or fast, fast, to start with, we start with uh, typical, typical, so TT I have written uh, there, okay. Uh, so I press an uh, OK. So uh, I set up uh, spy simulation again. Back I want to do an, a DP a, a DC sweep analysis. So uh, what is the thing which I am going to uh, V V one right now? Uh, what is an, uh, V stands for uh, the voltage of V one source? Okay. So this the first uh, V stands for voltage and V one is the name of the source. So I am going to uh, sweep uh, this uh, input voltage. Uh, which is V1. You can change the name in the schematic accordingly. You can change the name here. Uh, start value is uh, 0. Uh, stop value is going to be uh, 3. Right? Uh, number of point steps I, I am going to give it as 0 0.01. Let me give it that. Or 0. Uh, yeah, let it be 0. Uh, let me give it as 0. 0.05. Okay. Uh, sweep is going to be a uh, linear. Uh, okay. Right? And then I'm going to uh, run the simulation. Uh, so the simulation is uh, complete and then the uh, waveform uh, window would come up. Uh, there won't be any uh, waveform uh, initially. So I want uh, what are the waveforms which I would want to see? That is uh, those traces uh, here. This is right. Uh, voltages are uh, available here. Okay, what are the voltages which I so uh, uh, in voltage? So uh, this is the input voltage. Uh, this is the output voltage. Right and uh, probably i would want to see the uh, current also so i go to current and i want to see the uh, current probably which is uh, being drawn from the v2 source right so that would be and now uh, i want uh, current uh, 
from the uh, V2. So uh, my power supply is uh, V1, right? And I take the uh, negative current uh, because negative current means the current which is uh, being provided by the source. Positive uh, is the current which is going into the source. But I want the current which is coming out of the source. So that will give me an uh, estimate of the total current being drawn from the power. So I click on that. Uh, okay, that is a VV1. VV2 is the power supply source. Okay, so uh, VV2. So the, you see this this top one. Oh, obviously, VV1 negligible current because that voltage is driving the uh, gate of the transistors, and and where uh, this is connected to the uh, source of the PMOS, and and this is where the power supply uh, power is being consumed from the source. That is the source VV2. Okay. So this way uh, you can uh, uh, find the uh, VTC curve. Okay. So this is a small uh, demo on uh, how to do and uh, just a, a simple uh, inverter DC characterization in uh, Tanner tool. Okay. Thanks a lot.